What's up, boys and girls? It's been a pretty eventful last uh, month or so with the car. After six summer, uh, like I had mentioned in the last video, we had some uh, fuel delivery issues. Uh, since then, uh, we sent the fuel pump back to MagnaFuel. They rebuilt it. They replaced the armature and a bunch of other crap. Um, we replaced fuel filters. This was one of the ones that came out of there. Uh, it was all gummed up with junk. Um, we went from dash eight to dash 10 feed lines um, and Bosch 210s from Carter Motorsports, which is gonna be what we're installing in this video here. I will definitely say any of you guys, if you're DIYers, uh, fuel stuff is not something that I take lightly. Um, not a fan of buying used. Definitely, if you're having some sort of issue, address it. Last thing you want, especially on a higher powered car, is going lean and putting a hole in your block or doing something goofy, getting coolant on your tires. So um, for me, it was kind of an overhaul. The car had been running good, but I wanted to take it to the next step. So these 210s hopefully will uh, get me where I need to be injector wise. Um, I actually have a second fuel pump on the way. I went with an AEM 400 liter an hour. So I'll, uh, I'll be adding that and uh, putting that in with the Dominator on basically a boost reference. And then the MagnaFuel will go on uh, when it sees boost. So we'll make another video on that, but today we're gonna focus on the injectors here. Got these from Carter Motorsports. Uh, currently I got some Snake Eater SEP 1500s. They've actually been pretty good for me for the last uh, two and a half seasons. Since we're uh, pushing the car a little bit harder now, we wanna make sure that we got enough fuel and having enough fuel makes a happy motor. So that's uh, the route that we're going here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull these out, uh, swap in the 210s, and then uh, after that, we're gonna get on the laptop, make some adjustments there and uh, see how she runs. Pulling the injectors is pretty straightforward. Every setup's gonna be a little bit different, but essentially you wanna make sure that you can loosen the rail and pull it away from the intake manifold. You have O-rings on the top and the bottom, so I suggest you taking some care with that. One thing that I didn't really like with the uh, Carter injectors were the O-rings, so I replaced them with some uh, bigger Felpro ones. Also, to make them go on easier, I would apply a little bit of oil there. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the software side of things. Uh, first thing we have to do is connect our laptop to our ECU. So once we click download from ECU, it's gonna connect and sync everything up here. Once we're all synced up there, we're gonna go to our ECU uh, tab. If you scroll to the bottom there, you're gonna look at fuel injector information. Right now, uh, we're set up for the Snake Eater 1500s. Uh, the Bosch 210s are in the predetermined dropdown, so once you click that, you'll have to scroll down and find them in the menu. And on my particular setup, we're not changing fuel pressure or anything like that, so that's the only thing we're worrying about right now. This may not be the case with your setup, so please understand whether you have high or low impedance injectors, your fuel pressure, and other data like that. Once you're good, you're going to connect to your laptop again and communicate with your ECU here. So it's going to tell us that we got an ignition cycle, so we'll hit OK. And then key off. Key back on. I always like to go back and just make sure everything's still good. So engine parameters still says Bosch 210. So we're gonna give this thing a, a try and see how she runs. bigger injectors in I'm expecting it to be a little bit rich here uh, the AFR was definitely rich when we first started if you look at the closed loop the compensation is pulling a significant amount of fuel uh, from this point forward you're really gonna have to work on your tune-up and make sure everything's happy So I can't stress this enough. If you don't know what you're doing, please don't mess with your tune up here. Um, obviously I'm gonna have to go and take some data logs, maybe make some pulls, look at where my fuel tables are, where my closed loop is, and uh, you know, try to get everything where the O2 sensor's not trying to uh, fix, you know, basically the tune up there. 
a lot of people think that the Hollies are, you know, uh, self-tuning, but, you know, using closed loop to rely on adjusting your fueling is not really the, the correct way to go. Um, you know, again, if you're not comfortable with doing this, I definitely would recommend paying somebody. Hopefully this helped you out. If uh, you have any questions, make sure to ask. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thanks.